What is going on guys, it's Waffa here, and welcome to Rock of Ages 3 Make and Break. Now of course I've already played Rock of Ages 1 and 2 here on the channel, so if you guys haven't checked that out, be sure to go check that out sometime, but if you guys are new, Rock of Ages is basically like a, like a tower defense and even kind of like a bowling type game, I, I that's how I kind of describe it. <laughs> it's kind of weird, you guys have to see it for yourself, but it has like a, a Monty Python sort of theme and historical like references and stuff like that, it's, it's really interesting. And of course, like I said, you, you have to see it for yourself to see what this game is really all about. But uh, for Rock of Ages 3, one of the newest things for this game is that you're not only able to make your own maps, but you're able to play other people's maps and even play like against other people and stuff like that. So that's really cool, but that's probably going to be like it's own separate series here on the channel but for this series we're going to be playing the main story campaign over here and uh, I believe we could actually change our character over here so let's see so I guess this is the default character here and then we could have like some sort of Cyclops and what looks like Julius Caesar and a few other characters what in the world I don't remember some of these characters it's been a couple years since I played Rock of Ages 2 oh gosh <laughs> that's that one Jesus picture that that like an old woman restored and it, it looks like an absolute nutter meme Oh gosh, yeah, there are a bunch of different creatures here. What? There's like a flying spaghetti monster character? Can I use that? I wonder if I can. I think I can, like, right off the bat. I don't think I'm going to- I, I think I'm going to use the default character. <laughs> and then we'll just kind of change our character through time- or actually, should we use the Jesus character? I don't know, it looks kind of weird. <laughs> Let's just use the default guy for right now, and then, uh, banners, sheep, we could have a crown, we could have the fleur de lis, if I remember that's how it's called. What else do we have around here? Like a horse, a bunny, a deer, a snail. <laughs> I got a unicorn, some sort of fish. There's the sheep again. Illuminati. I think we had Illuminati for like a Rock of Ages too. Maybe we can keep that going for this one. We have like a jack lantern, a paw print, lightning. Let's see. What? Else? And then there's like spaghetti. I guess that's for the flying spaghetti monster or something like that. And then we have Ace and then giant monkey robot and Modus for the uh, the game publishers and developers and stuff. Let's see, where, what, here it is. Let's do the Illuminati Triangle. What color should our theme be? We have blue. Maybe we should do green. Just kind of go on with a Illuminati, like, dollar bill theme that we've got going on. So I guess we'll do that. And then, uh, Boulder Paint. Ooh. I forget, uh, oh, here's the We Know Brother, Dark Brotherhood thing. I think we'll just keep it bare for right now. So there, there we go. This is what our character's going to look like, so. <laughs> let's just jump right in, break, and let's start the story, and let's see what this story's all about. Of course, the story's always heckin' wacky with this game, so. <laughs> let's see what's going to start out with this time around. Odysseus. And they're rowing on a boat. And they've arrived at an island. And as you see, there's the Monty Python theme that's going on here. Oh, and they smell some delicious food. Grapes, chicken, turkey, whatever that is. There's like an angry boulder. And there's the delicious food. And there's a Cyclops, a giant. Polyphemus. He's like a sheep herder. Oh, he's angry. He sees everyone eating his food. How dare you eat my food? I shall eat you in return. <laughs> and he closes the door with a giant boulder. And he's just going to go to sleep. Well, listen up, everyone. I have a plan. I don't like the town that I plan. <laughs> All right, well, it's me going up against the Cyclops. Polyphemus, I think his name was. Might have been mispronouncing that. What? Whatever. That's that's been going on this whole series. I just mispronounced one's name. The Cyclops has blocked the exit with a boulder, but I have a cunning plan. Hmm. What is that plan? First, we will tie some of the sheep together to make a giant ball. Of course, that's the plan. <laughs> we make a big boulder out of sheep, and then what? Then, we can roll the sheep downhill and hit the boulder out of the way. Well, that's interesting. So instead of, like, getting into someone's castle, we just try and, like, break the boulder out of the way, I suppose. And by the way, I'm playing- oh my gosh, we're just playing the heckin' sheep right off the bat. This might be, like, the tutorial phase right here, which is kind of funny. Yeah, I think it is. There's, like, no- oh god, no! Hit the target with as much speed as possible. The faster you go, the stronger the hit. 
<laughs> yeah, I fell off the map right there. Yeah, I think this is like the tutorial type thing where you have to get used to the controls and stuff like that, but... For this bit of the game, I'm playing on a controller right now, so... I have a little bit better uh, control for this type of stuff, but... There we go! Max speed, full strength, 166 damage. Uh-oh. Obstacles appeared! Yep, this is definitely a tutorial. Slowly introducing new stuff like those explosives there. Steer the sheep ball away from obstacles. If we lose too many sheep... The ball will not be strong enough to push the rock at the end. Oh, jeez. Uh-oh. Sheesh. That was like a big stack of- Uh-oh. Is that a- I think that's one of those things that- Oh, God, man. Yeah, we took some damage right there. Whoops. So we're not going to be doing, like, full damage this time. Mid-speed, full strength, though. So that's not too bad. We got to slow down. Seems like we didn't lose any sheep there, which is good. All right, let's try to hit these cows. There's some- Oh, oh, man, I knew that was what that was. Oh, man, I'm, like, over here now. Oh, can I, uh- Oh... No! No, I fell off the map! And I think you take damage when you fall off the map, right? Maybe. Or it just slows you down. Yeah, I think it just slows you down. Alright, let's not hit the cows. Let's not hit this... Like, pat. No! I hit the paddle again! Ah, oh, man. Can I gain enough speed to make it back over there, though? I don't know if I can. Oh! But I'm just going to... Oh, I hit the paddle again! <laughs> I go right back and hit the paddle! No! No, man! Yeah. The thing about this is that, yeah, for this phase, I'm using the controller, and then for the building phase, which you could actually do here in the future, you guys will see that, uh, I use the mouse and keyboard, which is a little bit better for that. Maybe they changed it. Maybe I'll actually use the controller for everything this time around, but, uh, if you guys are wondering what I'm playing on, there you go. But, yep, have to avoid the obstacles, make sure we keep our speed, and do max damage! Well, we did mid-speed and full strength there, so that worked out in the end. Oh, this club hit him in the eye. <laughs> but we made it out! The boulder's out of the way! Victory! We got it, you guys! Awesome! Yeah, that was a pretty easy tutorial. I'm like, it should be as a tutorial, right? <laughs> just hide underneath the sheep. <laughs> oh, yep, these are just my sheep. They're, they're, they're fine. Don't need to worry about them. Not like anyone's hiding underneath the sheep or anything like that. You just got pranked, bro. How dare you? Oh. Uh -oh. They're back on the island. Yep, they're back on the island. Hey, there's me. Elpenor. Probably mispronouncing that, too. Oh, gosh, he's got a lot of boulders. He's got, like, an eight-pack, too. Man, he's buff. Yep, we're going up against him again. This time around, I think what we're going to do is maybe my tower versus his tower. We might be uh, learning the building mechanic of this game now for this tutorial. Yep, tutorial. We are safe in this castle for now, but the Cyclops is still out there. Oh, they didn't even say his name, they just called him the Cyclops. All right, I'll call him that too, to make sure I don't mispronounce it. There he is at the top of the hill, and he has plenty of boulders to keep throwing at us. Uh-oh. Luckily, we are skilled builders, so we can construct defenses to stop those rocks before they hit our castle gate. If the castle gates are broken, we are history. <laughs> We're the Illuminati. Let's start by building towers for defense. A tower defense, if you will. Hey, that's where that comes into play, huh? All right, well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try out the, uh, so it's left trigger and, all right, left trigger, right trigger to see. And see, oh, yep, there you go, zoom in there, golly, that zooms a ton. So what do we have here? We have a, um, an economy right here, which I remember correctly, man, it's supposed to, like, give you money and over time, and if he destroys it, you, you stop making money with that, so you want to put this in an area like a floating island that's far away. I don't know if we have any for that on this island. Yeah, like right here, yeah, see, he's in the economy, I think, right there, a mine. So right here is where he's going to be throwing boulders, right? So what we need to do is defend ourselves from his boulders. So I suppose what we could do is, like, here we got, like, a big choke point. I suppose we'll just put some buildings here, you know? So we'll put some buildings, like, here at the very end and, uh, oh, whoops. Rotate them like this, I suppose. So there you go. Just put some buildings there and then maybe put some more, uh, 
Oh man, what happened there? I don't know. <laughs> but uh, maybe we'll put, uh, let's see. Now what is this thing right here? Some sort of weapon. Seems like it needs a pretty big area though. But it is some sort of like spinning doohickey, so... I suppose what we could do is maybe put a couple of them like, uh... Maybe like right here, and then maybe I could put another one right here. Yeah, there we go. And then we could put some towers right next, or uh, right behind it. I think we might be able to, yep, we could drag and do that, so... Ah, for some reason I can't put a tower there. I could put a tower there, and I could put a tower there, okay. Let's do this then. There we go, so we got a couple towers, we got a couple spinny doohickeys there, so that's good. And we got a couple catapults we could put, so maybe we'll put some, uh... We'll put some catapults like this, to try and break his boulder before it even gets over here, you know, so... We'll do this. And we have an economy over here, I suppose we place our own or something. I don't know if this is our economy already. I think it might be, so maybe I'll place another one over here, I suppose. So there you go. Maybe put a couple towers over here, just kind of protect it, I suppose. So there, there you go. Maybe a couple like gray or two. There you go, just to prevent them from going over there. And then uh, we can put another line of towers here. There you go. And maybe behind that, we could put like one of these spinny doohickeys. Yeah, there you go. And then maybe even more towers, like right here. Especially right here towards the end next to our uh, thing, we definitely want to have a bunch of stuff. So like right here, yeah, you can't like build there, so we might as well put like a big line of towers here. Let's see. Oh man! Oh, he placed like something there, I couldn't, oh, I couldn't build there anymore, but there you go, big line of towers. And uh, I suppose we could put some catapults here. Maybe like this? Yeah, that'll, that'll probably be fine. Maybe in the middle we could put a couple of these spinny doohickeys. So maybe we'll put like uh, one there, and then one there. Then uh, we'll put even more towers, like right here. There we go. So how much money? We have 400 something dollars. Make a little bit of money because of our economy that's going on right now, but uh, let's see. We can put another tower here, I guess. Not like I could really put them like too much more places. I guess we could. Oh, yeah, I can't do another one. I guess I just do one random tower there. All right, that's basically all of our money. My army is ready. Okay, let's do this. All right, here we go. The enemy is rolling. Uh oh. Let's see. Where is he? Is he going to break through all my and stuff up there? Yep, there's the enemy right here. Oh man, they've got a bunch of balls. It's not just one ball, he's throwing a bunch of boulders. One of them, two of them actually look like bombs. I'm going to have to watch out for that though, you guys. Holy heck. Alright, now he's getting close to our defenses over here. Or offenses, I guess you could say, with these like buildings. Hmm. Oh god. Looks like they- Oh man, they broke through all that. But are they going to get through all the towers over here? We have some catapults, so they should be- Yep. Oh wait, they're hitting the towers! Probably shouldn't be putting them behind the heckin' towers like that, but whatever. <laughs> but they did break through my heckin' buildings right there, unfortunately. We do have a little bit of extra money now, so we could probably, uh... Get another tower, just kind of mix them in here randomly, like this. There you go. So we're making a little bit of economy there. And they're breaking through my stuff! But they going to Oh, you look at that! Oh man, they broke that thing right there! No! Well, that, that first block in the middle, or that first boulder in the middle... At the, or at the front, is actually taking some substantial damage, so... It might get broken up here, maybe. Ah, oh, yep, it just broke right there, nice, but there are a sm bunch of smaller little boulders. I don't know if they'll be able to do too much damage to our- uh Oh, nice! I, like, killed all those boulders right there, nice! But there's only one small little boulder that might try and break into our base here. We have limited resources to destroy the boulders, but I see there is a gold mine nearby. Let's build a bank next to it to extract some gold. Yeah, I already put an economy next to that. I suppose we can put another one because we have the money, so I suppose we can put a- Oh man, he just he just threw another thing right there. All right, let's put another one like uh, let's see. How do I do? Oh, whoops. There you go. Do it like this, and I guess we do another one right there. That way we can kind of make as much money as possible from that. So we could do three of them. You can see it says three out of three at the very top. So let's get a few more catapults. Let's put them like in front of the heck and or I guess like rebuild some buildings or something. I don't know. But well, maybe I'll get a couple more catapults like right here and rotate them like this, like that. Just put them off to the side to make sure they don't. They're not really. Gonna heck and hit us, you know? But uh, now we need some towers. We will put them, uh. Oh, I don't have that much money, do. Or I. Yeah, I do, but like. Yeah, it's preventing me from doing too much there. But I guess. Put a couple things right there. I guess we'll get another, uh, one of these spinny doohickeys there. Maybe another one right here where this choke point is. Just to. Because they're, they're pretty much forced to go there, you know? So. Let's just, uh, get a couple towers here. Because we have a few thousand dollars left over. So. Put another, uh, thing there. Maybe put some uh, towers here, just because I'm like they're kind of in a choke point. I guess I can put another one of these spinny doohickeys here, and then I might want to put some more catapults here. Actually, so maybe I'll put a catapult here, catapult here, and then uh, let's see. We have a few catapults there. Definitely want to put some more. So maybe I'll put some here in the front. There you go, in the front, and then uh, a few more here off to the side. Because you can see they're kind of like in a cone shape. There you go, kind of like in a cone shape, so they could actually shoot 
whenever they're further away, they have a, a wider area they can shoot, you know? So, you are like right here, and here, and uh, we still have those catapults, I guess. Oh, I'm almost out of money. But we are still making money with that, uh, that thing. Seconds to the next wave. My army is ready. Maybe I'll do that here in just a sec. Did they ever break through any of this? Nope. Our tower's over here still doing fine, so that's good. Still making some money, but, uh, now we might be able to forward another catapult here at the end. Just kind of, you know, just to make sure that he can't, uh, I can't build here, yeah. Yeah, I could probably put another one right there, you know. So, there you go. And, uh, I guess we'll just say my army's ready. So there you go, the enemy is now rolling. So let's see. Where are they? They're all the way over here. I, I might be able to, like, skip over to them, see where they are immediately. But here are all the enemy balls. Looks like just three big ones. Oh, man, there's even a couple of what look like bomb ones, too, which is kind of interesting. And they're, they're getting broken by that, uh, that spinny doohickey. Going through the towers now. Oh, what? Oh, one of them almost fell, but that bomb one is about to explode right there, it looks like. Maybe, I don't know. Now they're getting hit by the catapults and the spinny doohickey. Nah, man, then that one just exploded and killed the spinny doohickey. <laughs> There's still, like, three really big balls right there that we need to watch out for. To make sure we don't, uh, let those go through and actually hit our, uh, our walls. Now, there's one there in the middle. I, if that one explodes, that's going to be good. Make sure it doesn't explode on any of our towers. But all of our catapults right there are doing some, some damage to all those boulders right there, which is good. But the big boulders just ran through, like, three of my catapults right there, unfortunately. Man! Still have a few, uh, catapults over here shooting at them, so that's good. Even the catapults that were already past them are still shooting behind, which is good. Now, there, there are a few, like, low-health boulders at the very front. One of them just died, which is good. There's still another explosive. That one just died, and it didn't even hit any of our buildings. Nice. There's still a lot of catapults here. I think we might have, uh... Ah, oh, man, there... I think there's going to be three of their, uh, boulders that are going to hit our wall there. And there's... There's even one bomb boulder that's going to hit. Golly! We still have a lot of health on our wall over here, though. So that's good, but... Man! Yeah, we're, we're going to get knocked down, and we're going to lose! Uh-oh. Oh, those are going at very slow paces, which is good. Oh, no, did they break through? I think they did. Oh, wait, victory, we did it. <laughs> All right, that's good, okay. Man, I was kind of worried there at the end, you guys, go. Anyways, let's continue. So now we've, we've seen the ball rolling aspect. We've seen the building aspect. I guess now we're going to jump into the full game, I suppose. And we stole this second boulder too, his door. He doesn't have a door to his cave anymore, man. Poseidon. Oh, is there just like SpongeBob background there? <laughs> oh, is he dabbing? Oh, they ran away and they had a ship. And they stole my boulder. Greek curses. Oh, there's a goose. <laughs> oh, there's like time. Uh oh. Whoops. Oopsie doopsie. Looks like all those time curses just went inside of there. Whoops. What happened there? <laughs> they just going back in time or something? Oh, I guess so. There's some crazy music going on right now. Oh gosh. What in the world? A billion BC, or is that a million? Yeah, that's a billion. 1.2 billion BC. Holy heck. 10 bit. Oh, beginning of time. Spaghetti Town. What? Spaghetti Land? I can't even. What in the world? <laughs> I need 25 stars to unlock that. The beginning of time over there. Holy heck. All right, well, we're going through time here, you guys, and billions and billions, and then it just goes straight to like 800 BC. That's kind of crazy. Now, over here, we need three, uh,. Stars to unlock, the, I guess, the trebuchet or whatever that is right there. And then we have some sort of, like, fish creature over there. We need one star to go over here to the Cyclop Cyclopean Isles. I can unlock that, apparently. Oh, yep, I have one star, so I guess we'll do that. Actually, what's over here, too? We have another one we can unlock with one star. We can unlock Rome. Interesting. Over at 20-something BC. Oh, we need six stars to unlock that one, though, unfortunately. And then ten, and then three over there, too. So, yeah. I guess we'll just start out with the Cyclopean uh, Isles over here and see what this is all about. So let's unlock that. Ooh, there's like four levels over here. Oh, wait, and one of them is a time trial. One of them's like target practice or something. Yeah, Ski Boulder, I remember that. <laughs> then we have like a, what is this one, a race? Obstacle course. 
And then this one is the unit challenge. Interesting. So right here, I guess we'll do the Cyclopean Isles War. And for this one, I'll win two stars if my castle gate health never drops below 50%. So that seems good. And then we can also gain more stars, like two more stars there. One star here. What does it say? Uh, win two stars, finish every round at first place. Oh, we might be able to do that. Maybe in the future. Or maybe, we'll, maybe you know, just, just because it's the first map, maybe we'll start out with that one too. Then we have ski balls here, land in a 6 or 5 multiplier, and win the match. Oh, that's going to be crazy. And then we can get 3 stars here. Destroy the enemy's weapon stash before your bomb goes off. Yeah, this is the time trial over here. Some people doing it in 50 seconds, some of them a minute and 7, so there's, there's a little bit of range there. Anyways, let's just start out with the Cyclopean Isles War, or Cyclopean, I don't know. Bring down your opponent's gate and crush them. Take turns defending your castle and rolling through your enemy's defenses. So now, we're finally jumping into the actual game here. There's a Cyclops again, with his eye still poked out, you can't see. Oh, he's throwing boulders again! Oh, he's sinking more ships! Oh, Man, he's like killing everyone! And there's like a submarine. Oh, he destroys the submarine. Oh no! Man, he is so salty. He is so mad. <laughs> Jeez. All right, now we're going to one-on-one -on -one against the Cyclops. Let's see if we can defend our base as well as we can destroy his, I guess you could say. I know he's waiting for players. Yeah, we're, we're just playing on our own for right now. I guess we'll start out with a regular Rock of Ages. We haven't unlocked any boulders except for, of course, the default one right here. 2,000 strength, 23 speed, 10 acceleration, 200 damage, and 100 weight. So there's a lot of balls over here we could unlock. I think the Rock of Ages 2 had like half as many balls as this. So it seems like there's going to be a lot here, you guys. And then in terms of like a con or a, what do I call it? Uh, I guess just weapons here yeah, at the very top. We get an economy over here for the bank and actually start making some money. So we can afford more stuff in the future as long as it survives. We have a tower here to, you know, that's like static defense. We have a war elephant, which is, if I remember correctly, was actually pretty decent. And we have catapults. I love the towers. And of course, the catapults are good. I guess we get the elephants. And we can't really get anything other than that, I suppose. So uh, the ball, the boulder takes up two spots. So I guess we'll get that one right there. But in the future, once we unlock more and more stuff, of course, we'll actually have a little bit of a challenge here to try and strategize. Like, which like weapons do we want to have? Do we want to get like this weapon or that weapon or anything like that? But you know, as we're starting out right now, we only have a couple things unlocked, so we'll just start out with the towers, the catapults, the El war elephant, and the uh, the bank over there. So let's just jump into this match here, you guys. All right, so this is where we're starting, I guess, or where is the, uh, the beginning? Oh, actually, you know what? Maybe I'll go to mouse keyboard mode over here. So here's our base over here. So we need to defend this. So we might want to put a bunch of defense. Yeah, I guess we'll just, uh, Keep, uh, keep doing mouse and keyboard for the building phase, and then for the offensive ball phase, we'll just use the, uh, the, what do you call it, the controller. So there you go, we have a couple catapults there. War Elephant here, which if I remember correctly is pretty decent. Might want to put it, like, right there, maybe put a couple towers here to, uh, yeah, there you go, maybe, like, defend the thing, and I guess we can put even more catapults back here, so if they're, if they're preoccupied with the heckin' War Elephant, then I suppose, uh, you know what, maybe put some more towers around the War Elephant, like this. There you go. So hopefully they'll have a little bit of trouble. And then, let's see. What is this? Oh, this kind of forks off into multiple paths? Or what is this? Mmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. They have to go into the cannons and then... Okay, so... I guess we'll just put, like, towers here randomly. So to kind of break their momentum, you know? So put some towers in the middle there to break their momentum. If they actually go across the thing. And then... I think we'll put, uh... We can put some catapults in front of it, too, and maybe slow them down even more. So they can't even break the towers as easily, so I suppose we'll do that. Oh, gosh, yeah, and of course we have to go against the clock there, too. Do we have an economy? We don't have an economy. Where is the, uh, the mine at? I don't know where the mine... Actually, it shows you where the mine... Oh, there it is right there. So we can put it right here. Oh, our ball is ready. Let's place down some towers here to defend it. And, uh, man, there you go. Oh, whoops, I don't have enough money. All right, well, there you go. So where is our ball? Here we go, ready. All right, let's roll our ball. We're going to go into the cannon. All right, let's go into the cannon. Where is this going to launch us? Hopefully not too many uh, things here to... Oh, gosh. Oh, we're just crashing right into some stuff. Man, we're losing a little bit of durability there. Yeah, we don't want to do that too often, you guys. But now we got to go into this cannon. We're getting hit by, like... Sounds like some sort of... Oh, gosh. We're going to hit another building? Oh, God. Man. Yeah, our boulder here is taking some damage. And, of course, we, we can actually see his boulder up there at the top, too. So let's make sure we don't hit... Oh, gosh. He's got, like, the big bowl over here. We need to watch out for that. Make sure we won't get hit by- Oh gosh, it stopped us! 
Oh man, yeah, I forgot this bowl is able to like stop you and stuff, so it takes care of all of our momentum right there. It takes it all away. And now, I don't know if you guys saw right there, our ball just got cr- Oh, I can take out his economy. You guys want to take out his economy? Let's take out his economy here. Boom. Economy- Oh god, I'm going to fall off the map. Woo, almost fell off the map right there, Ada. But, uh, let's roll, let's keep rolling, rolling, rolling. Oh god, I'm going to get a cop strike now. Come on, keep going. This way, it splits off, let's go to the right side. But yeah, I don't know if you guys saw right there, my boulder actually got cracked into a smaller boulder, so... Now we're going to be doing less damage once we actually hit his, uh... Uh-oh, there's a big old bull right there. I forget what- oh, 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 nice, we actually have some pretty good momentum. Oh! And then you jump at the very end to, to jump into the wall. So that was mid-speed, full strength. We actually did pretty decently right there. Not too bad, I suppose. Alright, well, let's see. I think we did more damage to him than he did to us. Look at that down there, you guys. Look at my health, look at his health. I think we did alright. Alright, let's see how he did, uh, over here destroying my stuff. So, let's see. Yeah, he destroyed all the- Ah, uh, he destroyed a few of these, uh, towers here. So I suppose we'll rebuild a few of them, so there you go. Killed the elephant there, unfortunately. So let's- let's, let's place down another elephant. Uh, unfortunately, I don't- nah, I don't have any spaces there for any more elephants. So I guess we'll just place down a couple more catapults. How's our economy doing? Did our- I don't know if our economy survived or anything like that, you guys. I'm gonna put some more towers here at the very end. There you go, some more catapults, I suppose. Ah, uh, that, that was a terrible spot for that. Whatever. We can just put one right there. Let's see. Maybe we'll put some, uh, some towers here at the very- Start of these cannons. There you go. So where's this ball at? Ah, hopefully those towers are going to get finished by the time, uh... Let's see, let's place some cat- Oh, do I- I don't have enough money for a catapult here. <laughs> That'd be good if I did, though. Hold on, $230. We might be able to afford that here in just a moment, though. Oh, my ball's ready, my ball's ready. Hold on. I'm going to be able to place this- There we go, okay, let's go. Let's go. Oh, man, I think it was, like, right there. Okay, let's go. Oh, what kind of balls he have right there? Is that a cow- That's a cow ball! You guys see that? It looks like a cow. It's got, like, cow legs sticking out of it. <laughs> All right, there you go. All right, let's- Oh, God, I'm getting hit by those, like, ballistas right there. We need to make sure we don't take too much damage from those. And there you go. Getting shot out of the cannon. I- I don't know. Oh, nice. Destroyed that- that ballista right there. Let's go around this bowl again. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I didn't- Oh, he placed down two economies right there. Man, I didn't even check on my economies to see how my economies were doing. Did they survive? I don't know. Destroyed that. That's good. So now, let's go around the bowl. Let's jump. Make sure we- Oh! We still- Man, that thing has some good range. Man, I thought I was, I was trying to jump right there to make sure I didn't get trapped, but we still got trapped. I wonder if I have enough momentum to make this jump, you guys. I'm going to go back. Uh-oh, I'm going to get- Oh, God, I got trapped again. He hit me again. Aw, oh, man, did I break right there? I don't know if I- Oh, wait, hold on, there's a pla- Wait, what? Oh, I think I hit my own uh, thing right there. <laughs> I think I hit my path right there. Whoops. Or his path, I guess you call that. But let's go this way now. There you go. But yeah, it, you can see my, my door's health. Yeah, oh, he's building that. Nice. So we can actually build that- or uh, destroy that while still being built. And it's going to be like inst it's going to like cancel it, I think, right? There's some money. Oh, I think that was money, like bags of money right there. Ooh, hold on. Ah, oh, man. Let's make sure we don't break our boulder again. It's really, really cracked. Go through the cannon. That's good. Make sure we don't hit that bowl. Oh, we ran right into the bowl. Are you kidding me, man? Ah, uh, now we got a big bowl right here. Uh oh. Oh no! Ah, oh, we got hit by that. Okay, well at least our boulder still isn't uh isn't cracked to a smaller size just yet. Boom. Yeah, it's one more hit and he's down, but he's rolling again. Man, look at him. He's going right there. He's shooting out of the cannon. Golly. You see, they're down there. They're actually carving my ball right now, which is good. Let's see how we're doing over here. Our economy is actually still going strong. I'm kind of surprised by that, to be quite honest. I thought he'd uh, try and go out of his way to kind of break that, but I guess not, huh? So there you go. We can get some catapults over here, too, to hopefully slow him down and hopefully keep him away from my economy as well. So there you go. Some more towers. Play some more catapults here, you know, just to shoot him no matter which direction he goes. Hopefully he'll get, uh, basically bullied. And then, uh, maybe even rotate the catapults here, so if he- if he goes that way, he'll get hit by the catapult. If he goes that way, he'll get hit by that catapult. Seems good there. And let's see... I guess he's been going this away this whole time, huh? So I guess we'll, uh, play some, like, replacement towers here. Uh, can I do that? Oh, I just- yeah, I don't have enough money. So yeah, he's- he's been going through that, and then... man... I might be able to place another tower. Let's do it. Where should I place this? You can't place tower. By the way, you can't place towers where you already placed. Oh God! There he is right there with this cow thing. Is he going to get killed? Ah oh, man, he's going to go through. And he, br he why did he not? I don't know. His, his computer doesn't know how to. <laughs> he's going to hit my wall right now though. But no, oh, we still have a lot of strength right now. That's good. I don't know how good or how bad that cow actually is. <laughs> it might not be that powerful to be quite honest. But uh, there you go. Getting shot out of the cannon. I don't know. Getting shot out of the cannon actually, uh, slow- or, uh, damages you or anything like that, you guys, but, uh, there you go, break those ballistas. 
get shot out of this cannon again. And he's placed down a bunch of uh, towers, so I think that basically cancels it, and he loses money there too, which is good. Oh man, getting hit by the bounce thing right there. And of course, we don't have these units, by the way. So of course, we're probably going to unlock those a little bit later. Oh man, we still got trapped by the bowl. And of course, the same thing with that bowl too. Oh yeah, and then uh, of course on the top left, you'll be able to see how much health I have. I don't think I have enough speed, do I? Yeah, I don't have enough speed. Those those are my towers and stuff down there. <laughs> But yeah, you can actually see the uh, the health of my boulder on the top left, and of course, if I if I lose like health and stuff, my boulder oh it boulder cracks, and of course I'll do less damage to his wall. Which right now we've done we just hit him one more time, hopefully, and he his wall is down, his gate is down. So let's see, make sure. We yeah, we pretty much just run into that heckin' bowl every single time. <laughs> that was a pretty good placement, to be quite honest. I've got to hand it to this heckin' AI, this literal computer. Oh oh man, that bowl still trapped me right there. God, that took away some of my momentum. Might want to back up. Yeah, because that, that bowl right there has like an anvil stuck to his head. That's kind of funny. <laughs> I think I remember that actually, but a little bit of momentum. Man, he has like no health. Look at that, he's got like one pixel of health down there. Are you kidding me? The music is really picking up right now. Man, where is he? Where is he? Hold on. There he is right there. Which way is he? He's going that way. I don't know if I could build anything and it'll, it'll, it'll get finished in time though, but uh, let's rotate here. There you go, get a couple things there. Keeps going the same direction, so I suppose we'll just- Oh god! The cow- Oh, oh, oh! Man, he's just like jumped over- every... Oh, he fell off the map! Nice, great job there, you guys. Awesome stuff. Place down some more towers there, and more towers there in the middle. Hopefully I actually, uh, I can't place down another elephant. God, man. You know what, uh, let's see. He always seems to land. You know, let's place another elephant there, let's play- Ah, I can't, I can't cancel, I don't have enough money. $365 for that, though, holy heck. Do I have an economy? Did he take out my- I think he did. I'm not making any money. No, I still have my economy over here. I must have, uh, must have extracted all the gold from that, so I'm not making any more money, which sucks. The only, another way you can actually make money is by destroying buildings, if I remember correctly, so. If I want to make more money, I could destroy some of his buildings and make some money, so, of course, uh, you'll, you'll, you'll actually get slowed down by that, but you'll, you know, you'll pay off. you actually make some more money and be able to pay, uh, like, look at this. 279, 299, and of course, I guess just running over people, too, gives you money, too, so that's funny. <laughs> but you have to, you have to kind of strategize, like, what do you want to do? Hit that, hit that vase, get like, fi oh god, a lot of anvil bowls right there we need to watch out for, man. Alright, well, they're, they're backing up, charging up, so we can go around them, go through the cannon, boom. And, of course, yeah, hitting buildings and stuff does take some damage towards your, uh, boulder, too, so you have to kind of strategize in that regard as well. And, uh, there's some money, nice, let's keep... Jumping! Oh, nice! We didn't get trapped by that bowl that time. That's good. And I guess, yeah, that's a new aspect as well. Is I guess they have piles of money you can actually run into. Uh, should I stop? I probably should stop going this way. Like, I keep going the same direction. He keeps going the same direction. Let's make sure- Oh, no! Man, I tried to avoid that bowl and I fell off the map. Golly! Well, as long as I could race to the, uh, to the wall in time, we should win. We should- Oh, God, it took me before I even went out the cannon. There you go. But I should be able to hit his door before he hits mine, because my, my door is pretty low health. His door has, like, basically no health. And I think he's about to go down! Boom! His door is down! I'm gonna crush you, Cyclops! Let's go crush, Hulk smash, and... Got him! Oh, destroyed my own people. Oops. Sorry about that. <laughs> They're doing the hecking coffin dance with him, too. Are you kidding me? Uh, door hits four. Nice. Unlock the, the cow ball there. Nice. All right. Oh, let's continue. Oh, we unlocked, uh... Oh, what is that thing? I don't know what we just unlocked right there. That's pretty cool, but... We got at least one star right there for defeating this map. Now, what were the requirements again to get two... St oh, yeah, we didn't get the two stars there, of course, but, uh... If I wanted to get the two stars, what do I have to do? My castle gate has to have more than 50 health, or 50% health. Yeah, that didn't have... I think we had, like, maybe, like, 40 or something like that health there. Or maybe even less. But, yeah, we, we have to basically defeat him within, like, what, three door hits or something like that? We had to hit him in four times right there, so maybe if we defeated him in three door hits, we'd get two stars, but one star right there, I'm not going to complain about it. Anyways, I think we're going to end the episode right here. That should be a pretty good little sample of what this game's all about here, you guys. Like, basically tower defense and, like, bowling and it, it, it weird, like, Monty Python themes and historical themes and all that kind of stuff, and, and lots of memes, of course. It's all with, like, the heck of coffin dance right there, too. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> But really, overall, a, a very fun game. What is this right here? I guess we haven't unlocked it yet. It's like a secret or something, I suppose. But yeah, oh, that's where we came out at. Yeah, that's where we came out at. And then, of course, we can go back in time all the way to the very beginning of time with, like, the Spaghetti Land or whatever that is. <laughs> but we'll, we'll do that at the very end of the map, or at the very end of the game, where we have all the stars. But yeah, that, that should give you guys the idea for this game. And I could end episode one right here, and we can move on to Rome, I believe, next. 
Uh, yep, yeah, Rome, because we have two stars right now, so we can go to Rome. We don't have, uh, enough stars to go over here to... What does that say? India? I think that's it. Yeah, that's India right there. I think that's the Taj Mahal. So that's going to be really cool. So we, we need six stars there. So we're going to get our, at least our third star right here in Rome. So we're definitely going to have to do, like, ski ball or time trials or something like that to, to get another star. And we'll probably end up doing that either next episode or an episode after that. But until then, like I said, I'm going to end episode one right here. So thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. That'll put my latest videos on our YouTube homepage as soon as they come out so you don't miss an episode. Because Rock of Ages 3 isn't going to be like on my upload schedule or anything like that. I'm going to be uploading it randomly on the weekend. So if you guys want to tune in for more Rock of Ages 3, definitely be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell to turn on post notifications so you'll get notified as soon as a new video goes up. But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching, and I'll see you guys here next time with some more Rock of Ages 3. Oh, bye there.